This is Miss Zolia Alemi, the NHS doctor who has just recently been exposed of being a big fraud. Yes, she fooled the GMC, that's the General Medical Council, and the NHS for 20 plus years. What exactly did she do? How was she caught? You still find out in this video. Hi, wonderful people. If you don't know me, my name is Nanel. Welcome to another episode of Struck Off. So this is a series on this channel where we discuss things that health professionals did that nearly put them in trouble or things that health professionals did that put them in trouble. And then we'll pick a few lessons from these stories, okay? Somewhere around 2016, 2017, it's Zolia Alemi as a psychologist, a doctor in Cambria, somewhere in Cambria. She crossed paths with this wealthy woman who they say had dementia, okay? So she was supposed to assess this dementia patient for issues with memory loss so this fake doctor dr zolia alemi discharged this dementia woman saying that she had no memory loss so a couple of months later they realized that 21 expensive watches from this patient like dementia patients were missing they had just disappeared from her house okay so the police was called in and they had to trace so then the police traced it and realized that these watches were stolen by mrs zolia alemi the same psychologist who had assessed this rich woman some months back okay so apparently when they searched her they saw other financial documents they realized that she had even changed this rich woman's will to make herself and her grandchildren the beneficiaries of the woman's 1.3 million pounds estate she had forged her will to make herself the beneficiary and this would not have been discovered if they had not traced the watches and apparently she even had another key to the woman's house she had redirected the rich woman's mails so now all her mails were going into Zolia's house, this fake doctor's house. I believe she intentionally said the woman had no memory loss on purpose. I mean, she probably did have memory loss, but she didn't want her family to be worried. She wanted to keep it like that so she could keep stealing from her. So obviously when they found the watches and they found these other financial documents forging her will, they arrested her and obviously the General Medical Council redrew her license so she was sent to jail for five years. But even when she was in jail, you know, with this thing that she did, you know, it was odd for a doctor to do that. You know, with such a profession, you're expected to be, you know, a very good person. So for her to have been able to do that, steal the watches, forge the will, the police and the investigators sort of like thought that what else could she do? You know, like if she's been able to do this, she's probably done many other things. So they decided to go further, okay, and then dig deeper to see what else she's done. And guess what they found? Apparently, the certificate that she used to register as a doctor in the UK sometime back in 1995 was forged as well. Yes, she's been fooling the NHS, fooling the General Medical Council for over 20 years. So what happened was back in 1995 that they called something the commonwealth route okay so if you were a doctor in some specific commonwealth countries you could just sort of like transfer your registration from your country to the uk without having to write any exams at all you didn't have to write the plab one or the plab two so imagine let's say ghana or nigeria was part and you're a nurse and let's say they say there's something called commonwealth route you don't have to write cbs you don't have to write any exam you just have to show that you are really a nurse in ghana and that was it so that's what happened to her okay at the time she said she had bachelor in medicine bachelor in surgery certificate and she said she had gotten this from Auckland University in New Zealand okay which was part of those commonwealth countries that was allowed so she submitted the forged certificate from this university and also submitted a verification letter from the university to show that she had actually completed the course when in natural sense she had not but back in 1995 I don't think there was much scrutiny and there was no exams for her because she used that route the commonwealth route so she was allowed to register as a doctor in the UK and then she's been practicing all this while so so apparently they said she did have a genuine human biology degree but when it was time for her to do her medicine program itself she did the first year but the second year she failed she failed so bad that they didn't even allow her to repeat the course it was that bad you know sometimes when you fail they can even allow you to repeat the program she failed so much that she was not allowed to even continue the program and that was in 1992 three years after that she moved to the uk and forged this thing and apparently even with the verification letter that she sent from her university 
University, they say that even verify was spelled verify. There were mistakes in the letter, but nobody saw it. So there she was practicing treating hundreds, if not thousands of patients over the last 20 years. I'm just hoping that she did not cause any harm to anybody. But the funny thing is, she joined the College of Psychiatrists and for that, that one, she has to write an exam and she wrote that exam and passed that exam, okay? But they are saying that so far as she didn't have a Bachelor of Medicine and a Bachelor of Surgery certificate, she wasn't even a doctor in the first place to even qualify to write that exam. So in actual sense, she's been living a life for over 20 years and they say in that 20 years, she's worked in so many different NHS trusts. As a matter of fact, she was even a consultant who was actually also sort of like a supervisor for younger doctors. And they say that in all the 20 years that she's been living this life, she's earned a salary of about 1 million pounds. So in actual sense, that's how much she's defrauded the state. That's the amount of money they say she's defrauded the state because she got all those things through a lie. And the funny thing is, they said just recently, I think somewhere in 2013 or 2015, thereabouts, she did her revalidation. Revalidation where they would, you know, check to see that you're still, you know, on track to practice, blah, blah, blah. They said, oh, she was good to go. Nobody saw this. But I don't blame the GMC because back in 1995, obviously, you know, things were not like this back in 1995. So as a result of this, you know, they are researching or investigating into 3,000 more doctors that came around that period and used that same Commonwealth route. Now they are researching or they are investigating into the registration of all these 3,000 doctors because all these 3,000 plus doctors are currently in practice, like they are still practicing and they want to be sure that none of them also got this UK certificate fraudulently. If Madame Zolia did that, it's most likely it had been done before. They, that's the only thing they realized. I'm sure she must have forged many other things in her career. I'm very surprised that they're only realizing it now. So now they say she's a full accomplished fraudster. A fully accomplished fraudster. And now she's been found guilty, okay? They came to search her house here in Northern Ireland, Omar, and then they found all these things. And the problem is she's a hoarder. So even all the things that she used to forge the documents blah 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 she still has them in a trunk or in a box somewhere under her staircase you know she had not thrown anything away she hoards all these things okay i don't know if she looks at them and she laughs at us or whatever but that's how come she was caught she had all there was so much evidence against her and they found her guilty so now she's yet to be sentenced she'll actually be sentenced on the 25th of february let me know do you think she should be sentenced let me know in the comment section. And if she should be sentenced, how many years does she deserve? Remember, she's already been sentenced five years for forging the rich woman's will. Now, she's been caught of telling a lie 20 plus years and using that lie to earn over 1 million pounds from the UK government. Let me know what you think. How many years does she deserve? Comments below. This is the shocking story of Madame Zolia Alemi.